In order to add popular products to our page, we have to first figure out which ones are our popular products. You might already know this off the top of your head, but if you don't, you can use something like Monster Insights with their e-commerce add-on. Once you install that, you can head over to Insights, you can go to Reports, and with the e-commerce tab, you can see what your top products are so that then you can use them. Now, a quick aside, another cool feature about Monster Insights is then you can go over to Popular Posts even, and they have a popular post product where this is just a little widget that will go at the end of all of your posts. You can customize this however you want it to look, and then that will be showcased at the bottom of all of your posts, like I said. And then once you figure out the popular posts, then we can move on to the next step. The first method that we're going to show you how to add popular posts is by using Seedprod to create a popular post page. And then having that functionality, being able to create a page, a landing page with all of your popular posts that should help increase conversions for your products. So the first thing you want to do is get seed prod. You can start with our free version, but I'm going to show you all the features and show you how seed prod works with WooCommerce through their paid plugin. So you want to head over to seed prod and once you log in, you can then download the plugin. Go ahead and copy our license key while we're here and we can head back over and we'll go to plugins add new and we want to upload a plugin so i've got this down here if you don't have it you can choose file and find the plugin that you downloaded go ahead and install now and activate the plugin from here we can paste in the license key that we copied and verify Great, now that we have it, we know that we have a valid license, we can create our landing page. Let's go to landing pages and let's click add new landing page. And then there are several templates that you can choose from and you can even filter by them as well for like sales or what have you. For this tutorial, I'm just going to use the e-commerce thank you page and you wanna name it. And then we can start editing the page here. Now we are in Seedprod and this is where you can make all of your changes. As you see, as I'm hovering over, we have all these different areas that we can change and we have all of these blocks that we can add to increase it even more. And then down here we have specifically for WooCommerce, these types of blocks that we can do as well. So we want to add our popular products. So I'm going to scroll down to, I get to the WooCommerce. And we're going to use product grid. I'm going to put that here. And I want to come up here to the do block settings. Now that we know the products that we know that are popular, we want to change it based on that data that we got from Monster Insights. So instead of all products, the type we want to do a custom query. And now we have all of these that we can choose from. From here, we want to select by SKU because we know the SKU collection. And you pick the SKUs that were popular. You can hit control or command key as you're clicking to select multiples. Now we've added all of that. Now this is also in columns of four. So I, I only want to put three. So I'm going to reduce that by one. So it looks a little bit better on the page. Yep, at the top, I want to change that information because I want to say something like explore our most popular products. And I don't need this item here. So I'm going to remove it. And then I decided that I want to keep that. So I'm going to come down here and say undo. Very handy to just quickly undo or redo something. Say something like that. Scrolling down, I also want to remove all of this because I put what I want here. So let's go ahead and remove all of this. And you can either try and come up here, but if, if that becomes too difficult for you, then the other cool thing is you can come to the layout navigation. And you see as I'm hovering over something, it shows. Or if I hover right here, it's 
that whole row that I can remove. So I can just come here and delete that. Great. So now I just have what I want. And that looks good. So very clean, popular po products page. So we can come up here and click Save Changes. And then we also want to do the drop down and click Publish so that it'll go live on our site. We can even see it in action right here. And this is what it looks like on our site. So a very cool way of showing the recommended products on our site. The next method we'll use is by using WooCommerce's short codes. They have short codes that allow you to add bits of code to all of your products in your WooCommerce store. What we're going to do is we're going to edit a product and we're going to add a short code on a product. So for instance, we'll go to products, all products, and we want to pick the product that we want to add the popular products at the bottom. So for instance, we have this one. This is where we will paste a short code. And then you can grab this short code from the written tutorial. We'll have a link in the description below. And this is WooCommerce's short code where it's limiting to the first three product items. You give a column of three, the SKU, the logo collection, the Woo t-shirt logo, and the Woo long sleeve tee. You would have to fill that in with the products that you have. And then when you click update, then we can see this in action as well. And there's another way to do it. Then you would have to do it across all others. That's sometimes where Monster Insights automatic item would come in handy where it will automatically do that at the end of your post. Or where having one central location for all of your popular products using SeedPro would come in handy. If you're looking to increase the conversion rate of your WooCommerce store, check out this video next as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to customize your WooCommerce checkout page. And I'll see you over there.